Hello everyone and welcome to the Indie Scene. My name is HJ Tenchi and today we'll be taking an early look at Megabyte Punch by Reptile Games. Megabyte Punch is an action platformer for up to four players that mixes full customization of your little robot protagonist and the combat of Super Smash Brothers into one enjoyable experience. You run, you jump, and you smash things in the face until it goes flying off the screen creating a hole in the terrain where you can then loot all of its yummy, yummy loots. Since Megabyte Punch is still in early development, gameplay may change upon release for PC, Mac, and Linux. And as you can see right here, the game looks like it's amazing, first of all. The graphics awesome, the music's very cool, and the controls, as always, pretty much as far as I'm concerned, the most con important part are very, very tight, very responsive. And they change depending on uh, what you equip with your parts. And that'll get into a little bit as we destroy enemies and find new parts to our character. But we need to get past all this dirt barricade right now, which this little guy right here, yeah, you, you, has created by accidentally moving some dirt. So we're going to need a drill part. Now, uh, our little robot is created up of multiple different parts. As you can see here, these are all little parts that I've found and have added towards my stats in the bottom left, which you can't see even though I'm pointing to right now. So we have extra damage of three, mostly because of this, this, and this, which adds one standard attack damage up each time, so up to three. Uh, we have no extra attack speed, no armor. We do have shield life as four, which is just normal. And then uh, we can double jump with our movement speed up 10% because of this leg. So you'll start off a character, they all are cosmetically different, as you can look right here, once this, uh, I really like these intro scenes too, I'm, they're kind of basic, sure, but they look awesome for some reason. The, I just, the graphic style in general, I just, I'm a big fan of. But you can see my legs, one's blue, and my right one is red. The blue one will allow me to do this, yeah, and it does attack, and the left one, or my right one, my red one, will actually allow me to move and jump higher. So, normally, uh, when you first start off the game, and I'm only a few minutes in on this playthrough, I've played a little bit further on the other ones, but I wanted to show off a little bit of the earlier gameplay without spoiling too much of the story, and also the gameplay. But I've also picked up a couple other abilities, too. So let's show you this down B. Boom! <laughs> As you can see, that guy is now dead, and we've picked up a part. So now we can attach a part that'll increase our shield life to withstand four more damage. So our base is four, but we can attach this core and get four more. But I don't want to do that because my current one allows me to do this. Fly in any direction I kind of want, which is amazing. And then we also have another ability that allows us to rocket up, and then we can do that and combine them. So there's a lot of mobility, a lot of customization into your character. Come here, little buddy. Once again, boom! Collecting our little bits will give us currency. As you can see in the bottom left, we have four bits. And right to the bottom right of the bit, so in the bottom left still, kind of throwing you all over the place. So where, where the yellow is spazzing out in the bottom left is uh, our health in a lot of ways. It says damage zero, but a lot like Super Smash Brothers, the higher it gets, the easier it is you're going to go flying like I did the little enemy right there. So if you go flying through a bunch of terrain, well, you're going to die. So you want to make sure that your damage stays as low as possible and stay around areas that it doesn't look like you're going to get thrown off. So we're going to get a little currency out of that. Grab another part out of our gentleman there. Now watch this. Now, MLG tactics here. We're going to jump in the air, and we're going to down kick. And it, I did not kick through the train. Its little body went flying through the train. So you can actually... I, 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 it's, it's definitely intended, but you can actually create new paths for yourself. Slide! By kicking enemies through terrain. And I think that's so cool because there are certain areas where you can't reach unless you do that. Oop, and we're going to kick him up. Now we can kick him up through terrain too. Let's see if we can get him. Because he's a heavier guy, he doesn't do it quite as much. There we go. Oh, we now actually have a shield. Let's open up our chest. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so let's see. We have a... Grants one extra jump. Ooh. That would get rid of our little cyclone spin kick, though, but that's pretty amazing. So we could do a shield. So if, just to show you, let's equip it onto one of our arms, and we'll put it on this one. So now with down our uh, left and right and B, my special move, we can now create a wall. Now, you can get through the wall eventually, but this you can not only use as a platform, but to block incoming attacks. Really cool. But uh, for those of you that know me, well, I'm all out attack, <laughs> which is works out for me sometimes, works out for me not sometimes. So let's re-equip our punch, 
And look through what else do we have. So we have our shield increase one. We have an uppercut one. You know what? I'll show you that one. How about let's do that. Let's do up and attack for that. And the movement speed one. No. That should be good. So we're going to store the parts because you can only hold so many parts at once. Now you can go back to your little house and pick up these parts at any time and customize your robot and even save loadouts, which is really cool. So let's use our customizable uppercut. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, if you can't tell I like this game, um, you, you must have me muted because I am I am almost gleefully giggling. Let, let's put it that way. It's a nice way of saving some of my... Okay, attach a part. No, we already have that. <clears throat> uh, take some of my manhood and, and conserve it with my integrity. All right, let's see. We have a little mini boss fight, and similar to like a Mega Man style, the pillar is going to come down on the sides, and it won't let us out. Even if we try and drill enemies through the train, uh, you're not going to be able to do it. See, it just, it just hits the wall, and that nothing happens. But we're going to try and have to oop, kill all these guys. Before we can be released. <laughs> I love that. I so love doing that. We're gonna get a checkpoint and we're gonna continue on. Now the uh, the the levels actually can be quite large. So the biggest thing is if you ever find yourself starting to kinda like, okay, I don't know where I'm going, just keep going right. That's that's even the game says it. It's just like when in doubt, go right. There we go. More little parts. God, these guys just have no chance. You can sprint too. Which can give you a lot of movement speed, and you can even almost try and go for like a speed run tactic. Wow, that's a lot of money. There is a store where we can uh, spend all this money too, and buy new parts. And it'll randomly put in new parts every time you go to the store. So that's really cool too. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, that's oh he punches back. That's cute. Let's see if we juggle him. Oh no, I missed. Juggle, juggle. Oh, well I juggled. I juggled the. Oh wow. <laughs> it's raining bits. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so another little mini boss. Once again, this is just a little guy. They're relatively easy off the beginning, though. Oh, let's see if we can do the super kick. Boom! There's so much damage. They're relatively easy off the bat, but the game does ramp up some difficulty. But it wants to let you kind of get accustomed to what you're doing in the game. And also, since this is the first area and the first time that you really get a lot of bits and uh, parts, it lets you go through and kind of customize your robot how you want to. Now add in three other players if you're lucky enough to have three other people playing this game with you, and chaos ensues. It gets ridiculous. And of course, you can't hurt each other. So we're gonna hit our little time bomb, open that up, and watch out for those two. Those will do massive amounts of damage. Now we're at 42 damage right now, and for anybody that played, ooh, Smash Brothers, you know that that's not too worrisome right now. So, but I don't want to make it any more. <laughs> I don't want to make it any higher if we don't have to. There are bosses at the end of each world. So we're at the Electrolyte Caves right now. And I will show you the boss if we can. <laughs> now add, add, add in some new people. Add in those explosions. I'm just saying, you, you, may, you may find some fun in this. <laughs> I'm having a blast with it though so far. It is a game that's still in early beta. Um, the developer said, you know, just let them know because the game will be changing. They will be adding in new content. They will add in um, leaderboards, which are already in, I believe, as well. And there's even a fight mode, which you saw at the very beginning of the preview, the video, uh, with the different modes. This is the adventure mode, which is kind of a story-based mode that actually is very enjoyable. Ooh, and I'm not screaming and yelling and trying to loot everything in sight. All right, let's go right, huh? Ooh, up in the air. Now let's hit this. Oh, and explodies. It, it's, it's seriously, it never gets old. I have been playing the game for a little while now and throwing these guys across the stage is just so enjoyable. Okay, exo legs, that'll give us movement speed. Not really worried about that. Here's our launch one that can help us kind of Fly around a little bit in a direction. Don't really need that. Uh, movement legs, no. Movement legs. Okay, so we're going to put those all in storage. At the moment, from what I can tell, you cannot sell those. But you can use it to create different uh, different robots later on and then save them in your house. Which is really nice if you want to go back and, and switch up. Maybe you have kind of like a high mobility robot for certain stages. Whereas another stage may be more um, damage focused like I have right now fly. We're going to run past this guy. Oh, we're going to run past that too. And 
almost to our boss. Let's go down. I've never found that... Oh, shoot. It's a tarp. I've never found that I've actually gotten lost in the game. Oh, man, so rocked. Oh, hey, look, a new guy. Now, the great thing about the new guys is new parts. So let's see what we got here. Uh, a Mantabite head. Okay, so that's that's nothing special. We've actually had those. Those are damage ups and shield life. Okay, so nothing special new here. There are colors that you can find scattered about the world. And from what I can tell, it's just what it sounds like. You can then create uh, your own robot a little bit differently and color code them too. I haven't been able to get that working yet. But uh, that's something I expect to do in later parts of the game. Okay, you know what? We'll attach this now. This will... Let's put it there. And we'll put it here. So we're going to lose one damage per standard attack. Because I've taken off one of the damage up arms. But now we can do a Mega Buster shot. And the game does take cues from old school games like Custom Robot. Or even a, my a old favorite of mine on GameCube, Gotcha Force. For the few of you that actually know what I'm talking about on that game. On top of Super Smash Brothers 2 when it comes to the combats. So you're going to get a lot of good customization. There's our uppercut again. A melee attack with a DC. Ooh. I'm, I'm sorry, Mega Buster. I love you. I love you, Mega Man. But what does this do? Oh, that's our. is that our uppercut? Did I? No, that goes there. Uh, that can go there. Abilities. Um, You know what? We can add the launch ability too so you can see this is one of the first ones you get it's just a little it's almost like a captain falcon jump or a, a, a no it was it was star fox that had that i apologize super smash brother people Ooh, look at that whoa okay this is amazing so you can do a little combos in the game add in all kinds of new parts that are going to make for well a great character and a lot of fun Plus, once again, like I mentioned, if you have three other people or even one other person to join you in, there's going to be all kinds of shenanigans involved. And a lots of betrayal, probably. You may lose a friendship or two out of the game, but, you know, that's okay. Little Billy needs to be put in his place, and you need to steal his awesome mega parts. Ooh, speaking of Little Billies, hey guys, how you doing? Uppercut. Uppercut. Wait, that wasn't... Wait, that's, a, that's not uppercut. That was my uh, blast jump. Okay, well, this is spinny kick. <laughs> and it lives up to its names by not only spinning, but also kicking. Alright, so that's not the way we're supposed to go. Oh, oh, nice. I wonder if these guys will give me something new. They gave me a Megabyte head, which was a damage up, and that's one of the... Ooh! Okay, I'm starting to get a little higher up on damage than I'd really prefer to... Oh, no! They have a spinny jump, too? Or a, a spinny kick. Even worse. I wouldn't be so worried if it was a spinny jump. Ha <laughs> ha, into the ground, buddy. All right, any new parts? Nanobite head, leg for the kick, exo arms, launch cores. Okay, so not really. So let's store these all in so we don't run out of inventory space. Kick the living heck out of this guy. Ooh, ooh, combo, huh? Oh, ooh! <laughs> so you can kind of get a feel for what multiplayer would be. Is having like this being your buddy, kicking you, attacking you, trying to steal your bits and your parts before you can get to them. Also, uh, if you wanted to just play a head-to-head -head mode because, well, Little Billy's gotten a little mad and he says, you know what, my robot's better than your robot. Go into the fight mode and kick each other's butts until, well, once again, someone ends a friendship or, well, you decide to assert your dominance. Oh, okay, so we have our first real boss. And we've made it to his hideout. And you want one of my drill parts. Of course we do. Well, I'll make you a deal. I'll give you a part if you can beat me before I drill your face off. Well, that's... It's not very nice. <laughs> and tip oh god! A typical Street Fighter. Oh, hey, hey! What a jerk! So we're gonna lose a life there. As you can see in the uh, bottom middle, he has 18 damage for his health, and he has two lives, whereas we have four. And I was gonna try and do Street Fighter under kicks for him, just to kind of be a, a jerk, but it looks like he didn't think too kindly of that. Super kick! Oh, oh, oh bye bye. Nah, yeah, you're not getting back on, buddy. That's one. So, for the popularity that Super Smash Bros. was, I think there's going to be a lot of people that really enjoy this game. And then the fact that you have a, an adventure mode, similar to like... Oh, God, 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 no, no. Go, dog. I should have been able to get up on that. I, I blame Drill Guy. I blame him. He's a jerk and he owes me $5. But because of the fact that you have an awesome adventure mode that allows you to customize your character, you have a cool combat mode, 
and, and an almost infinite amount of parts. There's, there's about 140. But uh, a ton of parts that you can combine into your own way. The game is a lot of fun. I really, really recommend picking it up. And as you can see, we're going to... Oh, let's go into our house. Here's the town. Let's see, we're going to our town. And I believe it's the blue one. And we'll see our different parts. So drill arm. We're going to pick this one. The part has been downloaded. And we can attach a part. Let's... I really like that one. You know what? I, I may regret this. Let's keep our damage. And now we're going to have drill attack. Nice! So that's going to be a great combo tactic. Boom, 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 boom. And of course, we'll go into a drill form. Heck yeah. So let's jump over here. Sprint! Everybody in all the NPCs you can talk to as well. And they'll divvy, uh, They'll actually give out a little bit. Oh, am I down, down here? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Talk to you first. You're back! Do you get a drill from Boulder? Pretty handy, right? Uh, I get what you said there. Try using it in different directions. Swap! Woo! And we're now going to be able to get through to level 2. So my friends, if you're interested in supporting Megabyte Punch and Reptile Games, please check out the information in the video description below. Also find them on Steam Greenlight and give them a vote. And for more indie preview and review goodness, check out youtube.com forward slash Pixabyte, the home of everything indie. Thank you all for watching and have a, well, have an amazing robotic day, my friends. Drill hand! Oh, <laughs> I love this game.